Hello, welcome to Board Goblins. I'm Dom. And I'm Guy. And we're going to be talking about board games that we like and board games that we don't really like. We're talking Cosmic Encounters. It's a good one to start with. Because well, you liked it. I did, and you did. I hated it. Yeah, and didn't I, don't, like I, don't, it. I don't know why. Because look, here, here it is. Simple, simple space game, right? Mm. Some space games you play, and it takes an hour to even understand what you're doing. This mm. one isn't. It's you have these cute little ships, which are look really nicely stacked, first of all, which I really appreciate as someone who likes things quite organized. Like and all you do is decide how many you send forward into battle, and how many you don't to defend your planet. And that's it, really. That's all there is to it. And you might think that's too simple, but I think actually that's quite nice. I did think it was too simple. I did. Really? Yeah, because... Okay, look, I mean, it's, simplicity can be a great mechanic. But effectively, you've got your five planets, and your opponent's got their five planets, mm -hmm. and how many people... It's, what, it's three to five players, right? Yeah. Um, and you draw a card and it says, right, you must invade the blue player, or you must invade the yellow player, or the green player. So you don't have any agency, really. But you can't, like you can't manipulate where you're going. No, well, you can in a way. <sighs> and what I like also is that that prevents that thing where you play a game sometimes, and it's like, target who you want. I'm going to target Bob, and Bob again, and Bob again. And Bob's yeah, it, thinking, sure. can you stop that? It, it does take that away. It, ma it makes it far more, uh, what's the term, destiny. Destiny is to like, our destiny is to invade you. But then I kind of feel like I'm not in charge. I'm just enacting what the game is telling me to do, and I don't like that. Well, I think that's where the social element comes in, which I really like, is that that's yeah. where you really then start pulling in what you really want to do, because you can form alliances and break them very easily. And for instance, if the card says, go attack green, you're thinking, damn it, I want to attack yellow. However, if I also ask Yellow to cover me and maybe I fail this battle, they will lose their ships they put in and then they're weak. Do you see what I mean? Suddenly you're actually thinking, I need to be really tricky and convincing with how I actually act diplomatically with people and they get really evil. And again, yes, I agree with you. That can be really cool mm. if you've got the right people. And I will say this now, there are board games that rely on that meta, that 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 social aspect where you're, you're betraying your friends. I love those games. Hand up, I will play those first, Look, right? I don't like agreeing with you. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one. Right. I, I agree, it is, it, that is the thing. It does yeah. rely on having that core group of people which you know you can rely on to really get that kind of... You want that blood going. You right? want that blood like, going, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's yeah. the thing, you know? Yeah. Some people are just a bit, eh, you know, a bit flat. And look, maybe I'm not the right person for some games and that's fine, Oh yeah. but for this one, I know who I need to play with to really get my blood boiling, you know? Right. No, like agreed, like agreed, that. agreed, agreed. Okay, so, so what else did you like about it? Okay, this. These species. First of all, look how thick this stack is, right? What is this? This is all the species you can play in the game. I don't know why I'm mm. looking down here, <laughs> okay? But, but, you know, forget that. So, first of all, you think, look how much text there is. I'll hold the mute all. Thanks, I appreciate that. So you've got all this text here, which really gives you some nice lore about what this species is. You've got this great art. I really like this art. I'll hold the mute talk. This is the diplomacy already coming out. Right, absolutely. <laughs> so, and I really like the art, like I said, and the lore. And what's great is you'll see here, there are all these little sort of like segments. And what that is, is those are all the sort of segments in the game, the stages, the beginning phase, the attack phase, the negotiate, all that kind of stuff. And these species have different effects on, and there goes that species, <laughs> uh, on, on those elements, which really sort of make, make it really, and there goes another one, really make it different, I think, for when you play. And that's what I like about that. So much variety. Yeah. No, I can't argue with you. Thank I you. cannot argue with you. Um, I have never seen so many different species in a game before, ever. And it does feel ever. like a cosmic encounter. That's what I mean. It's a smorgasbord of crazy different aliens. Some that are called, for instance, the losers whose sole objective is to lose. Your favourite might... race. <laughs> <laughs> that might sound really easy and silly, but I think actually it does kind of give a a light kind of interesting element to the game. I did like that, that the species each do have a very different, not really playing style, but way of executing the stuff within the game. And it changes how you approach the game. You know, you might go, oh, I normally like to play a game like this. I'm very uh, offensive, I'm very defensive, but you get the race and then you have to adapt. And I like that. Like you can also choose the races before you play. So you could go back to the same race time and time again. You could. But I feel like that would be defeating 
like you said, this giant stack of exactly. race I mean, cards that came with the species cards. With that, that's that's a that's a solid brick. That's a foundation. You know, look at that. No, I'm, I don't build houses. I can't really tell no. you how to do that. Please yeah. take my advice on that. Um, <laughs> Look, okay, what, okay, so you like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get that. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what did you not like about it? Anything else? Anything else you didn't like about it? No, no, no. I, again, it was just the lack of agency that I, I, I didn't really appreciate. Although it is a part of them, it is a mechanic. Um, so, yeah, and you've got to play with the right people. A lot of games you have to play with the right okay, people. So I, I'm not going to repeat what I've, I've said. I, know I didn't you, like it. You liked it. But I think you made an excellent point there which we touched on earlier, but just briefly, is the three to five players. Yeah. I will admit that I don't think it is a three player game. It really is four up. It really is only mm. four to five players because any less, you don't really get that kind of, you know, varied stra strategy and diplomacy. It's kind of just like, well, 2v1 and, you know, that mm. kind of thing. So I will admit, I don't think it's a three player game, but I did have once a game where it was, I think six of us or so. We kind of, we kind of like fashioned out another board and that really worked. It was amazing. It was like just crossfire everywhere and betrayal. And it was like Game of Thrones in space. I really liked it. So there you go. So big question on the shelf or not? Yes, I say on the shelf. I'm not saying it's the first game on your shelf, but it does belong somewhere there and you will find it now and then every couple of months slash years and play and you will enjoy it. Okay, well, certainly not on my shelf. Really? Yeah, it's not, it's just, I, it, it doesn't grab me. It, there's something about it, I don't know. Anyway, uh, it might grab you though. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and leave your comments down below on what your encounter with Cosmic Encounter, it's just Encounter, isn't it? Singular. Uh, so what's been your experience <laughs> with Cosmic Encounter, yeah? And we'll see you, uh, yeah, that's, that's my contribution to that. We'll see you next time on our next encounter that won't be in space.